the Saturday. Let's get right into this. This is a continuation um, in this series right here. Basically, we, we're still continuing this idea right here to right this, this wrong. You know, saying that the lies and slanderers of the King of Kings, you know, was saying, and of I and I as well are perpetrating. So there's this page there that we're going to link on. Remember, we had in the first part, we touched on Hiram. Hiram was King of Tyre. Right, and he had, and he sent masons and others to be servants. We touched on the Quran, even the Quran, chapter thirty-eight, makes a very a very good mention. You understand know, of what occurred right there. What we're seeing is kind of a reoccurrence on a certain level of this, right? But then there's these propaganda sites, the ones who just don't know what they just don't know right here. You understand? Know, but we know that a bunch of racism is also tied up in it. You understand? Because the devil has deceived white supremacy in European people. You understand? He has. You understand? This is why they refuse to recognize, in spite of all the information, Christ's humanity as being a black man. That does not change their, their, um, their salvation. You understand? But if they want to lie against the truth, that does affect their salvation. Because remember, it's grace and truth. It's grace and truth. You can't get no grace if you're a liar. If you don't love the truth. So, what they, in spite of all the evidence, they still are holding to their preconceived notions because they have been deceived and taken captive by the devil. And the devil don't love, you understand, don't love black people or white people, but he already worked with black people in ancient times. You understand? And Christ, in a sense, he, he kind of cast that out to an extent. You understand? Because according to the people's willingness to agree with him, but now we see a kind of reverse going on. But all praise be to the King of Kings in the name of our Black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So, now remember the tire. For the notes, keep the tire. The tire, Hiram of Beef. Look up tire, T-Y-R-E. Right? And then look up the connection of tire and masons. And then you'll see the King David, the real connection of the real masons. That's why they say Freemason. What does Freemason? My, my nana used to say, well, you're free until you're full. You understand? Know they are free of the law of God. You understand? Know they're free of the law of God. That's what it is. So they do whatever they will. You understand? Know they do whatever they will, whatever they please. And we're going to break, we can break down everything on this particular page here. And every time they come out with something, we read it because we think we're going to find something that is really factual or interesting and that really will make us say, okay, that's a fact. But the more evidence they, so called evidence they present, when we look at it, it just proves our case like we're doing right here. And we're not, we didn't even write all this down. This is just in the Memphis Caduce, the Holy Spirit. So let's go forward with it. All right, so here we have another page. We looked up Tyre, right, Selassie, and Scepter. Tyre, Selassie, and Scepter. Now, remember that there was a, a, a serial Phoenician woman from the coast of Tyre that came to Christ, and he igged her. Right? He even called her a bitch in the Bible. Right? He called her a female dog. He said, I have not been sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, to a particular seed people. We know from the Bible that salvation only came to white folks and Europeans and other nations because of the apostasy of the, of the black Jews of the Beit of Israel in saying we have no king but Caesar. You understand? Now we have Caesar Borgias. How interesting. You know what I'm saying? God is good every time. So Genesis 49 and 10, it says, The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor, a law, nor the lawgiver from between his feet. Now, it says, Tyre, he will make mention. Remember that psalm? Make mention. In fact, we have to get our met off to do so we can just have that. I think it's in the other um, wing, um, the Englishenia. Yeah, the Englishenia, either English one, Miss Ghana. Um, so, Tyre, who is to make mention of Tyre? We want to touch on this for, for a while because also Lucifer is connected with Tyre in the Bible, right? And this is what's very interesting. Now, Lucifer is connected with Tyre in the Bible. Even though that Lucifer, you understand what's known as Lucifer is actually from the Latin and not the Hebrew. The Hebrew would be Halal, Halal Ha Shahar, you understand? Or the, you know, some say the. The, um, the, 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 the son of the morning, you understand, or, or the Miskana, the son of the morning, or the morning Miskana, the morning star, right? So there's that psalm, right, Psalm 80, 
87. Let's turn our Bibles to Psalm 87. And let's look at this picture right here. You understand? When we turn it to 87, let's look at this picture right here. Right? As we look at this picture here, we're turning our Bibles to Psalm 87. Now, we see some, there's some guys on the Internet, a preacher or somebody, who is trying to so-called expose or debunk the Rastafari thing, and His Majesty and Hala Selassie, and he, he starts to stumble over his own words. I mean, like, he don't really know what, 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 what's what. So he don't recognize the African Zion. So he's one of those Negroes, those black preachers that have certain good things that are at a kind of a lower level, a novice level to offer, but really doesn't understand what he doesn't understand. So it's this psalm right here that we're going to, right? So you can see this psalm. Here's the psalm right here that we're going to. You see where it says, And of Zion it shall be said, This and that man was born in her, and the highest himself shall establish her. But if you look at the paragraph before, it says, I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon to them that know me. Behold, Philistia, or Palestine, Philistine, right, and Tyre with Ethiopia. This man was born there. Now, you see that connection right there? This man, right, was born there. Now, the whole psalm reads like this, Psalm 87. His foundation is in the holy mountain. The Lord Yahweh, he who be who he be, his divine majesty loveth the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Yaakov. Because we are Yaakov, right? We're, 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 we're Jacob. But we haven't taken on our Beta Israel name fully and completely as of yet. You know what I'm saying? Glorious things, that's our blessing, our barakat. You know what I'm saying? Glorious things are spoken of thee, O city of God, Selah. As glorious things were spoken of Idis Ababa. Right? Verse 4. I will make mention of Rahab, Rahab or Tiamat, or on earth another name for famine in the Amharic language, Rahab or Rab, right? Rahab. Also we have Re'ab, right? Re'ab, a different, it's a different um, link when you look at the, the, the language right there. But then Rahab, if you look at to expositors, Rahab will be Egypt. And, right, so we have Egypt in the news in 2012, and Babylon, right, Babylon, right, confusion, Babylon to them that know me. Behold, Philistia, and Tyre, Tyre, T-Y-R-E, remember that, take a note of that, with Ethiopia, this man was born there, right? So we're going to break down how what we're looking at in this picture is the queen a British queen is representing Tyre, right? She's representing Tyre, Tyre, right? And his imperial majesty is representing Ethiopia, right? Or Ethiopia, right? Now it says, this man was born there. And this man was born there, right? And it goes on to say, and of Sion, the real Sion, the Z I N, not the said, or the S-I-O-N, it shall be said, this and that man was born in her, and the highest himself shall establish her. It says, Yahweh, he who be who he be, his divine majesty shall count, right, shall impute, right, when he writes up the people that this man was born there, Selah, as well as the singers as the players on instruments. So we have the reggae music. And this, this page tried to slander, you know, the John Mason, you know, as we go a little bit further down here. Let's see if we move this down here, right? So when we speak about the singers and plays, and we're going to deal with that hand thing too. A lot are confused about that. They don't really understand what they just don't understand, right? So now, now, now look at the slander of these people right here. Look at the slander here. Take that, all right? Look at the slander, right? Now, um, it says Rastafari, right? It has been suggested by who? The devil? Who has suggested this? That Rastafari word for God, Jah, comes from the term Jabalun. Are you stupid? All these, you see, this is the slander, the blasphemy against his majesty, right? 
and we're dealing with Attire and, and Ethiopia mystery. All right? Let's understand what we got before us right here. We're, we're dealing with the blasphemy, right, the blasphemy against his majesty, right, and the tire, right, the tire and Ethiopia mystery. Now, here in this one, they want to say that Ja, right, it has been suggested comes from Jabulun. Are you stupid? Are you, are you, are you really sick? You know, you know where Ja comes from? Let's bring it up right here. Do, do you see what they're saying down here? Let's make a note of this right here. Do you see what they're saying down here? Do you see this link right here? This is actually another part. This is a part in itself. We're going to do it right here. Now they say that Jabulun or Jabulun is a word that was used historically in the rituals of the European. We add that because if they add that, it'll put it more in perspective. The European Royal Arch Masonry. Then they go on to some um, anonymous facts about Europeans. So it says Rastafari religion derived from this branch of this is a lie. This is a lie. Let's let's you know what we're gonna get into the tire and and the mystery right here. Let's pause for the cause and and deal with this squarely. All right. Let's deal with this right.